Time heals all wounds. 90 Day Fiancé Before the 90 Day stars Big Ed Brown and Rosemary Vega reunited virtually for the first time since they went head-to-head -head in a nasty argument on the season 4 tell-all following their split. <laughs> Big Ed, 55, made an appearance on episode 5 of Discovery Plus's 90 Day Fiancé spin-off 90 Day Bears All on Sunday, January 31st. He revealed he had not spoken to Rose, 24, since they filmed the tell-all via Zoom about nine months ago. Ed said he wished he would have the opportunity to speak to his ex-girlfriend someday in the future to tell her she's impacted his life and he just wants her to be happy. That's when host Sean Robinson said they had gotten a hold of Rose and asked if Ed would be open to speaking to her. He said yes, so Rose joined via video call from her native country of the Philippines. Hello, my queen, you look incredible. The California native greeted his ex once she popped up on the screen. Thank you, she replied with a smile. With the help of a translator, Ed and Rose reflected on their relationship and their nasty fight at the tell-all. I deserved every word. You had a right to be upset. I was upset. I was heartbroken. I know you were heartbroken. I was just angry. Today I apologize. You've helped me in so many ways, he said, getting emotional. I'm very happy. I'm growing. I still have a lot to learn, but you admired me and you touched my heart, even though it didn't work out. Rose said she was happy to accept Ed's apology. Sean, 68, asked Rose if she regrets her harsh words at the tell-all. She replied, Actually, that time probably not, because, of course, there is no person when they're mad. That's thinking level-headed about what they're saying. Ed accepted Rose's comment, adding, And no one's perfect. I'm not perfect. Sean then asked Rose if her feelings for Ed were real, since he questioned if she really loved him during their heated tell-all exchange. Yes, she said. Ed said he now believes her. I was upset, we were throwing mud at each other, I was upset, I knew she loved me, I knew it was over, I was just mad and she was mad, and I apologize, he explained. Rose also shared an update on her relationship with her girlfriend, whom she started dating shortly following her split with Ed. She revealed she and her girlfriend broke up because she just wanted to focus on her son Prince and her career. Ed explained he didn't know about Rose's sexual preferences for both men and women, which is why he mistrusted Rose's intentions after their split. Like Rose has said, the past is the past, he said. One of the biggest factors that led to his nasty breakup with Rose was that he was not upfront with her about his desire to not have any more children in the future. Rose had hoped to have children with Ed during their relationship, and she quickly ended their romance when he revealed he had planned to get a vasectomy. During their chat, Ed announced that he did go through with his vasectomy, but he opted to free some of his sperm so that he would be able to have children in the future if the opportunity arose. I'm happy for him, for whoever he wants to give his sperm to, Rose reacted with a laugh. I'm not just gonna give it to anybody, Ed responded laughing. I'm not gonna sell it, I'm not just gonna give it away. The former couple shared more laughs over Ed's awkward shower scene with Rose's father during his trip to the Philippines. Before their segment ended, Ed asked Rose one final burning question. Do you regret meeting me? Ed asked. I don't really regret it because, first of all, it already happened. I accept everything because that's the past and it became part of my life, Rose replied. And also for me to regret it, for what? For what purpose? Am I right? Because I moved on already. Well, I'm happy that you're happy and I don't regret meeting you at all. You changed my life for the better, Ed said. So thank you. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.